Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have the missing JJ Macfield and the Island of Memories from Limited Run Games, their 61st game in their Nintendo Switch run. This is the collector's edition. I'm not just excited about the squishy donut that you get in here and the furry little doll, but I'm excited for the game itself because it's a lot different and intriguing than the 2D platformers that I usually play. It is about two girls, one who you play as, and the other one is kidnapped. You have no idea by who or by what, but you guys both go camping and she's kidnapped. Now the whole point of this game is and even the most best part of this game is you use your body to progress in this game. And if you're kind of confused about that, what I mean is you die to progress farther. Now we'll get into this boxing right now. Like usual, we're gonna look at the limited run games card. This is the girl you play as. I'm pretty sure this is your friend in the background who disappears, but we are opening up the missing collector's edition right now. This box is huge. I thought it'd actually be a lot heavier because of how big it was, but apparently it just has a couple of things inside. It was an $80 purchase, and I'm kind of skeptical just because of the price line price tag, excuse me, but at the same time, this box is beautiful. I'm kind of a little pissed about the edges. They have a little dings, even though there was like a big bubble shipping wrap, but uh, the box is beautiful, guys. The front cover is exactly like the card that you see. I wish it had a little bit more like shininess, just like the card had. It would have looked really cool. Then you got the outsides of it, but not only that you just have this cover, you have the sleeve on the top, and then you have the regular box on the bottom. But there isn't really much. This box actually looks like a regular box. I did not know it came like that. This is the first time LRG is doing a box form like this regular box. Looking at it, it looks really nice. It has a little bit more accent to it other than the uh, cover sleeve that they had. Oh, oh my God. It's the Toy Story doll. That's creepy, dude. That's creepy. At least, oh, excuse me, guys. All these outsides. Oh, that's cool. The little plush dolls in here. The, you guys, the donuts in here. Oh, gosh, the box makes it so much better now. Okay, I'm kind of glad that the slip cover was over and that only the slip cover got dented. This looks great. I love this box. So, <laughs> 12 plus and up, guys. I think there's a lot of death in here, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to open this up perfectly. I love this. This is new and I like it. Oh, what do we got? Oh, look at the, they even added art on the inlay of the folds, guys. That was beautiful. And look at this presentation. There you guys go. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got the plush right here. I told you it wasn't that heavy, so there isn't really much going on. We got the game, the plush, and it all just comes out in, oh, they got two plastic. There we go. Plastic little cases. Put the box over to the side so you guys can see the artwork the whole time. Um, here we are. We got the plastic covering actually so it stays in place but you have the game right on top um you can just oh no i just pull this one. all right dude what the oh okay there we go <laughs> got the game right here whoops <laughs> oh the donut the donut i wish the donut was a little bigger but uh we got the donut right here oh dude we got some little little uh what are these keychains or magnets i don't know these look like just regular man they're not even like keychains they're just like rubber pads i think i gotta check on the uh, actual editions but here we are the plush it's looking cute as oh it's so adorable it's like a frankenstein plush for an animal it's kind of it's like a taxidermy like creepy like plush and here we are we got the stickers right here so we're gonna get everything set up and we're gonna get into it all right, first things first, we're opening up these cute little stickers. That is creepy. Okay, so you got some cuteness and you got some creepiness. This is really cool. I like this missing whole, like, missing memories. I like the art that they've been doing in here. Really nice, kind of simplistic, but it hints everywhere. Like, in the words, you see the girls' names, and then in the backgrounds of the words, you see the actual artwork. I really like that. It's really nice. I do like these stickers. They're, they're looking pretty good so far. Sleepy Donut 3D Magnets. Okay, there you go. These are magnets, heavy magnets. It's a good th thing I have a refrigerator, but they're really thick. They're actually very, very thick. So we're getting into this game. Like I said, everybody, if you still want to learn more about this game, please watch the trailer. The trailer doesn't do as much justice as I think this game should do. I looked on Steam. All the uh, Steam ratings gave it like a 9 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. So it's looking really fun. Um, I'm really excited to get into it because it's also a different type of uh, platformer. So we got the front cover. I wish they changed it a little bit it's the same picture over and over and over i love that little blood accent that they have coming from her mouth she's just like wiping it off like she's killing herself i don't know if they cut this off or they yeah it looks like they purposely cut it off on the back side i wish they could have added a little bit in the background you can see your tiny little plush with her right there holding her hand oh i'm so happy about this game right now my buddy says i'm not gonna play this because i have such a huge huge backlog in spite of him we're gonna play this Ooh, i wish the background was a little bit better though 
So we got uh, just a black missing, ooh, there it is. Please wake up. There it is, yep, that's looking a little bit better. But then again, there's so much colorful artistic work in this game where I wish they would have hinted a little bit more. We're gonna look at the cart. I do love this giant missing. Like, it's not even the, the actual title, it just says missing, and then everything else is in like very, very, oh my god, it's literally in tiny words, you can't even see it. But I wish they would have put it in darkness so you could actually see the little writing. It, it just bothers me. But we're gonna put this away and we're gonna open up the manual for guys right now. All right, next thing up is one of my favorite things is the tiny little squishy donut. It's uh, very simplistic. It kind of seems like the sprinkled donut from um, the Simpsons or something like that, but I was just excited because I do love stress balls and cute little donuts are uh, an easy way to get to my heart. Um, easy, squish is really nice. It's kind of like the My Friend Pedro banana, but just a little more squishier. I do love the donut. It is nice. It will get torn up pretty easily, but it's it's actually perfect for your hand. I, my hands are pretty large, and it can fit, and it's a nice squeeze. The banana's really nice, too. I love these squeezing stress relief. Feels good. All right. <laughs> All right, getting from the stress relief, we're finally getting into the plush, which, by the way, I read in the manual. This is a plush that your character takes around everywhere she goes, and the reason it's all tattered up her character name for me is unknown, so if you have it, please post it down below. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the manual, but uh, oh my god, this is adorable. This is adorable, especially with Halloween coming right around the corner. I gotta fix this like, no, maybe the, the horn goes like that. I love this. This is a cute little adorable thing. My girlfriend's gonna be like, ew, this is like, ew, adorable. You know what I mean? But uh, it, it is cute. It's so cute. I like it. The plush feels good. The tail's long. Like, you got like this lioness thing got going on back here. But then you have like a bunny mixed with like an antelope mixed with like, uh, I don't know, like a panda cat thing. I don't know. And then you got like a human foot. <laughs> what is this thing? All right, well, oh, and then you got like a fox arm. Okay, this thing is adorable. This thing is cute. This thing is awesome. I love this nice little plush. All right, Tail, you're like longer than the actual body itself. All right, everybody, that was my unboxing for The Missing, J.J. Macfield and the Island of Memories Collector's Edition from Limited Run Games, their 61st game in their Nintendo Switch run. Now, what really holds me up is just the price tag, but everything in the box was awesome. I really like the donut, the plush, the stickers, magnets, game. I just, I'm excited to play the game. And then the fact that the presentation had a sleeve and a box that wasn't really used in LRG's collector's editions a lot. So I was really surprised about that. I really think it hits on the price point, And if it's not your style of game, it's probably not a collector's edition you want, but I really think it values out right to the point that they put it at. The plush, maybe like $20, we'll say. Donut, maybe 10, so you got 30, and maybe like a $30 game, that's 60 plus magnets, box, collector's edition itself. That's already like 80 plus dollars. So I mean, I think it came out great. But what did you guys think about it? I, I'm just really excited to get into this game about, about all this gore and stuff like that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Hubbalubaloo. I'll be streaming every day, except on the weekends and on Tuesdays. Maybe on the weekends, we'll see about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this boxing. Subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys next time.